There's no stopping us right now. I feel so close to you right now. Hello GBS, I'm your host Ethan Mendoza and welcome to the Glenbrook South Report. Today we have interesting stories about our clubs, events, and activities here at GBS. We have stories about the yearbook, Lumos Club, and this year's virtual dance show. Let's get to it. In our first story, let's take a closer look at how our students make our yearbook, Etruscan. I'm on the design team with six other people. And um, so we're really working really hard to like make this yearbook look totally different than our past years. And because I feel like the year is so different that the book definitely deserves something that looks completely different as well. I'm one of the photo editors, so me and the photo staff will go out and take photos of practically everything that Glenbrook South has to offer. And then the writers, the staffers, and the in-class editors all interview people and write the stories in the book and then the designers design all of the pages. They combine the writing and the photos to produce the book. So like I said, there's um, not a ton of events going on so it's been difficult to kind of reach out and find those so we've had to kind of search for those a little bit harder and as a designer sometimes there's not a ton of like photos to go along on a page and you kind of have to get creative with that process and think outside the box to how you can fill a page up. We want this book to be like kind of like a ray of hope, you know? It's playful, the colors are bright, the typography is fun, like we have falling letters and tilting letters, and it looks a little bit like a mess, but that's what we intended because that's what this year is. Next, let's take a look into a new club at GBS, Lumos Club. So Lumos is a new club at GBS this year, and it was originally started in England by J.K. Rowling as an organization to end the institutionalization of children worldwide. And so a lot of kids are in really inhumane like orphanages all over the world and the goal is to make it so that they all end up in foster families. And so we do fundraisers to fundraise for the organization which is a nonprofit. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and I decided to start something my sophomore year because I wanted to get more involved and especially with the coronavirus I wanted to create somewhat of a community with people who I had similar interests with and I came to learn about Lumos, the Lumos organization and I thought that was a really great idea. At a club meeting we could do trivia, we kind of, we make a lot of crafts, we do butterbeer, uh, we create cauldron cakes and origamis and those are just generally fun activities but then we also talk and have discussions about what Lumos is, the goal, and different ways we can fundraise. I think it's really important to bring a club like GBS Lumos here at GBS because it's something that we wouldn't normally see. It's based in England, so it's international, but it's such an important message for everyone. For our final package, we're going to take a look into this year's virtual dance show with seniors Sarah Yagelski and Grace Cullum giving their insight into their final show at South. I've been a part of GBS Dance Show for four years because I'm a senior. At GBS, this was my fourth dance show. I've been in it since I was a freshman, um, but then obviously outside of school and variety show also I've been dancing in. But I've been dancing since I was about three years old, which would be 14 years. I dance at a studio outside of school and we have three or four dance shows a year plus other competitions. I've been dancing pretty much since I could move my feet, so about two, three years old. It's always been my favorite thing to do. I've grown in dance over the last four years here. The community that you build makes you a better dancer because it grows your passion for dance and that comes through in your movement and it makes it just so much more worth it. I feel that I've definitely grown as a dancer both technically and as a person. I think the community of orcas and everything that I've gotten involved in has really made me grow. The best part of the dance show for me is probably group dance. It's just our time to come together. We have so much fun. There's no pressure to be the best dancer on the stage but everyone just brings the energy and it's the best time. Just today when we were filming and dress rehearsal and everything it was very nostalgic. I've made some of my very best friends through this group. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm sad to leave, but I'm also so excited to see where the group goes and what it does. For me, dancing is so important just because it's the way that I can show who I want to be as well as I found the people that I love the most and I couldn't be myself without being a dancer. 
That's all the stories we have for today, Sal. Thank you for tuning in to GBSR, and we'll see you on the next episode.